another thing is as your worms multiply and progress, you'll be able to start a secondary bin, which is what I did. I actually have enough worms, because we've been doing this for about a year, maybe a year and a half. I can start like fucking two more bins. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these worms, but I could do that, you know? Or I can just like put them into my garden. Um, although every time I dig into my garden soil, I find a worm, no matter where I dig into. And that is a good sign that your soil food web is healthy. So if you, if you dig out in your soil and you don't see any worms or any bugs, that's an issue. And I think I'm gonna do a video going over the importance of uh, the soil food web. Because although it may sound boring, it's actually really interesting. And it's pretty crucial like um, to at least have an understanding of the importance of all the little things that we uh, don't really appreciate or know much about. You know what I'm saying? So in the last video, I briefly mentioned the uh, soil food web and its importance in your garden. Um, so in this video, I thought I'd kind of delve a little deeper into that and give you a couple book recommendations that I think literally every person on planet Earth should read, unless you're like a baby and can't read, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 